Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial and uh, today we're going to be looking at a city destruction or uh, doing something like this here. Uh, yeah, we're going to be using projection mapping and uh, some uh, playing around with uh, some nice particle system. Yep, uh, so that's the destruction we're going to be creating. Uh, let's get started. Uh, so I'll set up a camera to be facing directly into your scene uh, like this. Just clear the rotation and move it around to face uh, this area, uh, to face directly into your scene and uh, drag a background image and drop it directly into the camera so that you have it as the background image or just select the camera, go under the camera settings and under background you can uh, find uh, the image you want to add there. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, to move to align our camera or our scene uh, to this view here. Uh, first of all, let me reduce uh, the background, the alpha of the background image so that I can see the grid clearly. Uh, or just add a plane. Move this up a bit. Uh, hide. Move this camera up a bit uh, so that we have this plane as our, uh, our ground. Let me turn on random, random colors. Now, to align the camera to our scene, uh, there are a few ways to do it. Uh, there are scripts uh, that can help you do that. Uh, I think there's a plugin called, an add-on called uh, Blam, Blender, yeah, Blam, that uh, helps you align uh, the camera. But uh, I don't like using plugins uh, when I'm creating tutorials. And this is a fairly simple scene uh, that you can get away with uh, without uh, physically matching or accurately matching the camera to your scene. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just add a camera, uh, sorry, a cube uh, in my scene like this, and I'll parent uh, the camera to that cube. Control P. Uh, now, when I rotate the camera, when I rotate the cube, uh, because the camera is attached to that cube, uh, we can control the orientation of the scene like that. And, and I'm also looking at uh, the grid here. Uh, you know what? Let me just add a few subdivisions here to this ground. And uh, go under display and change uh, the viewport display to Y. So this is going to just act as our grid. Great. Yeah, so the first thing I notice is that uh, this camera here, uh, I th this scene here might have been taken with a uh, 25 uh, angle lens. So I'll first change that uh, focal length to 25. Uh, just to match uh, the perspective line, I'm just I don't have the information about this image, so I'm just going to eyeball it. And uh, it's not really going to matter that much. Now I can move this cube here, rotate it maybe a bit. I'm just trying to align uh, these straight lines of the straight lines of the grid or cube or this plane here with the straight lines in our scene. So I'm going to match uh, this axis here uh, with maybe this line here or this line here. So just grabbing this and uh, I think push it around there. Rotate it something like that. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Now let me just extend this. So if you're doing this, if you're just eyeballing this, it's going to be hard to get uh, very accurate result so you might want you you might have to set always something that is not that accurate but uh, there are add-ons are for uh, camera matching in blender so yes turn, i'm just going to carve this area here just selecting this vertex and then turning on proportional editing grab this uh, because there is an actual bend in the street uh, this street is a bit bent so i'm also going to do that for my geometry so select these push it just a bit great maybe grab that like so maybe extend 
this even further but so I can see this goes down a bit so I'll also push these down as well maybe extrude push them down and yeah I think that's it just push them down a bit further and push them like that now let me change this back to the display back to texted okay now we have that uh, now for the walls I can just select these loops here these outside loops and uh, push them just like that also want to capture the detail back there so I'll just extrude that even further but uh, I think we are running out of our view distance so I'll select other camera and go to the camera settings and change the clip end uh, to about 1000 meters so that I can capture all the details in the back there uh, what I'm also going to do let me split split the screen just a bit what I'm also going to do is uh, select these you can see this bends uh, there's a curve bending here so I'm just going to try and do that as well so maybe just select this loop and give it a bit of resolution like that select this part and push it down great yeah so if you match how you seen I like that then you are ready to do the projection mapping I'll just need to set up the shader or material so let's uh, split this into a shader editor create a new material I'll call this uh, street street and uh, then uh, we can add an image texture image make sure it's the image I have as the background and you can see this scene here doesn't extend uh, to fill the entire camera scene so I'm just going to push that extrude that so that it does like that so that will also capture the details here uh, then again make sure you, you match the image you're using can have this as the base color now you can go in the in your camera view and UV unwrap just hit you and then projection from view uh, if we go to UV editing you can see that uh, our UV is projected to the image and then now uh, if we go to texture here you can see how we have that projection on I we also see that uh, the mesh is also distorted quite a lot I don't know if this is a bug or what, but I think it's a bug because if you subdivide this, if you start adding subdivisions here, uh, those distortions straightened, straightened. So you can see how messed, messed up it, it is this side. Let me do it in a view here. Change this to camera and this to this. You can see how messed up this side is. If I start adding subdivisions in, it starts getting better maybe a few subdivisions there and then projection from view okay uh, I don't think we are capturing any detail here because you can see we don't see it directly here so yeah but uh, from the camera view I think we do need a few more subdivisions here and see at least this side matches yeah, and this side is now getting better uh, so if you see that uh, you know uh, the area is a bit distorted you just have to subdivide it a little bit more and yeah now it looks more better than before I uh, just ignore anything outside the camera view because that is not really projected well from the camera so yeah uh, if you remove the background uh, from the camera and turn it off for a second you can see what we are having uh, you can add in you can start adding some bit of animation in your scene so if I select the camera set a keyframe here and set a keyframe at a hundred 
move forward just a bit maybe side a bit let me reduce the timeline can see we have some movement there uh, if you want to add a bit of detail I see these doorways and everything else uh, that are being pushed in you can add in detail uh, by extra having there adding some extrusions to them I can add loop there and maybe a loop here and select that extrude that in and then do unwrap this from projection again so that we get a bit of detail from there uh, if the camera moves uh, we should see some parallax in here some parallax occlusion around uh, this area so it, it's not enough because uh, the, the portion is not that big but uh, for something like I don't know here the problem is that uh, we have some plants here that may not really come out very well but uh, if we added a loop there there uh, I think that's it we can extrude this to the inside like that and then uh, we don't need this top part then projection from this actually maybe we do need that top part let's see projection from you yeah, it's creating a few issues so I'm not just going to add it see some occlusion but uh, I think we captured we extruded uh, the wrong part we should have extruded this so I'm just going to select this first delete right, and then extrude these and have them connected you can see how we start we're starting to see some parallax or occlusion around there and yeah when you do that you can add some slight details in there so projection from view Okay, so in the next part, we can start working on this uh, destruction that you see here. Thanks for watching.